Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Farrant here playing as the Ottomans. So we are currently trying to deal with the aftermath of our war, uh, attacking Khorasan, Fars, and who is this? Mahra or something? Yeah. Um, so we're coring those. We're going to convert any of those that are not Sunni, which I think actually they all are kind of amazingly. And... Uh, we're looking at a potential push either against the Commonwealth again in six years, which I have to do if I want to use Lithuania as cores, or another push against Ethiopia. And I'm thinking Ethiopia would be the best target at the moment, but let's just check coalition first. Um, it could be a coalition, but I'm not that worried about the members of said coalition. Uh, let's just make sure everything's not going to rebel, and then we'll probably move to attack Ethiopia again. The issue is I can't raise the autonomy in a lot of those provinces. So, we'll see how that goes. I probably should also start getting rid of some of these forts, but we're still making enough money to support them, so... Uh, but what I should do, and I keep forgetting to do this, is upgrade a couple of these forts. Specifically the ones up here. There we go. Not, not particularly worried about any African powers coming to take my forts. It's all about the Europeans. All about the Europeans. What does this give us? Oh, tobacco's price has increased. Nice. Um, yeah, let's take that land leader fire going up, which will be nice. I should probably also add some more states, uh, turn some territories into states too at some point. This is Tabriz. Where is, th oh, that's over here again, isn't it? Okay, let's just quick do that. Since I can do most of those. A little short on the last one, but that's understandable. And oh, as usual, they both want it. There you go, there you go. That should keep you two estates happy. I don't know how much it's actually going to give me of a benefit, but we'll see. Oh, that's almost three gold a month. Wow. But that also might have been some of the core provinces being converted um, court as well, now that I think about it. Provincial unrest is in fairly good shape. Um, let's actually see if there's any accepted cultures we can take. Um, specifically, we want to try and find large cultures to take. I wouldn't mind getting Kurdish. See, none of these are huge cultures. Azerban, Azerbani wouldn't be a bad one. I guess I'll wait for now. There's nothing there that says, oh yeah, I need to take these ones in my mind. There we go. Oops, splendor idea. Well, that's not going to be that useful in eight years, but it's also completely useless because I don't have any issues with Protestantism other than that one province. Okay, well, let's move down here and do a brief war versus Ethiopia, hopefully within like six years, so then I can come back and beat up um, Poland at the end of that time. Where in the world is Nikor? Sorry, I'm trying to find out where this country that they're allied to is. I haven't met them yet. Oh, that's awkward. I suspect they're in here somewhere. Ah, oh, speaking of which, can I threaten Genoa for more land? Not yet, because they recently gave in the threat, but it's a possibility. In the future. Um, let's throw down... Uh, do we want plantations? No, we want textile manufacturers by and large. Actually, let's do weapons manufacturing. There we go. Caught up on Diplotech to some degree. 
I'm still wondering how long these Greek separatists are going to keep revolting for. They're never going to take this fort. <laughs> Poor Corfu has just been under siege now for what, like a hundred years almost? You'd really think would Venice would go save them, but I guess Venice doesn't actually own that province anymore. Actually, they don't have anybody. Huh, that's a possibility to attack then. Trans Oxana, I'm just going to get a claim on some of these. I don't think I'll attack them just yet. Probably wait till after the Polish War, personally. Just so I can really um, save manpower. Because the Trans Oxana War is going to be a large war. And actually, they're guaranteed by Russia, so I can't really do anything anyway. Could try threatening them for it. Nah. Not strong enough. So, how do I trigger this? They're guaranteeing the independence of the... Great Horde. The allies to Fars and Jean Per. Fars is not guaranteed by anybody. So it's going to be another war, another war against Fars in order to um, try and get to Samarkand. I can't do that for another nine years. So that works out. Goldmine and Damont has been reduced as well. Interesting. I've never had the gold mines reduced. Now I've got like, two in a row. Interesting. Huh. Maybe Ethiopia was just putting it too high, or I have some really bad luck all of a sudden. Oh, I thought I pulled you down, too. Left you up there. You were just sitting there as well. I suppose I could start the war with those armies. I can't imagine Ethiopia's got more than that to take me out. Let's see, any chance I can... Ah, I can threaten them for a, a, for a Chios. Chios, Chios, it's now Sakez, so... Interesting. Um, quick convert that. It's nice that the knights were smart enough to give up, even though I took one of their, what, two provinces? Okay, let's start this war. It's just tiny little gaining lands, that's why I'm doing it all. Okay. I think I just... yep. Caught their army and stack blocked it. Perfect. Um, you know what? I'm going to send you up to there, actually. It's going to keep telling me I lack cores, even though I'm doing something with it. Uh, it's a little frustrating. There's Makoria's army. Not stack wiped. Interesting. Probably because I don't have a general. I like being able to just stroll in and just sit here and watch my fort siege it down, uh, army siege down the forts. Although I am impressed that Ethiopia has rebuilt. Oh, it looks like I'll be able to rival the Commonwealth again. That'll be nice. I'm looking forward to that. And we'll catch their army again. Yeah, I was trying to be a little too sneaky that time. I guess they didn't suspect the fort was about to fall. Hey, Lithuania has actually brought troops to this war. Hi, Lithuania. Where's Serbia? There's Serbia. Serbia's up to 13 troops. It's not bad for a country who hasn't expanded in uh, ages. Go Serbia! They must have a tech advantage, yeah. Still, impressive showing by Serbia. 
Okay, I think I'll wipe out Mercuria. Get them off the map. Um, then just pick away at some of their outer lands, I guess. Yeah, I guess I've got to take exactly 100. Still, I get to take four ducats on top of everything else. Okay, we'll move you to there, we'll move you to there, we'll move you to... Eh, why not there? Then we've got a lot of conversion to do. I think we might... Oh, we just snuck in over a, below 100 over extension, so that's really nice to see. No chances of those awful rebel events then, and we can re-rival the Commonwealth, which is nice. Although I have no idea why, particularly. Let's just wipe, quick wipe out these rebels, or the separatists. I guess technically they're rebels, even though they are separatists. Got a claim on Corfu. I might as well try and get some claims in the Commonwealth, especially if I'm going to attack them. Military access from Spain? Why does Spain need military access from me, of all people? That's weird. Um, who else is my ally? France. France is somehow still willing to stay as my ally. They virtually have no other allies other than me and Scotland, though. I'm hoping I can stop any potential rebellions down there. Oh, shoot. Another one of those modifiers that lower manpower army professionalism. Retrospect probably should have lowered the army professionalism. Especially since I just defended these guys. Okay, let's at least keep those guys happy. Prestige from land battles... Um, no. I'm going to go for standardization of caliber first. The Russians have declared war on the Ming. Uh, Russia. You idiot Russians. I don't want this war. We don't need this war. You alone should be able to crush the Ming. This shouldn't even be funny. They should be able to abolish a Ming with zero mandate. I don't think I'll even send troops. I'll let my marches and vassals go fight them. I'm just going to sit there, prep for a war with Poland. Rebel Uprising, what a surprise. Let's harsh treat that for the moment. I suspect a lot of those unhappiness is due to my conversions. It appears so. Hmm. When the force comes to work, I do have a 30 stack sitting around down there, which is larger than all the rebels. Um... Don't we have a fairly good air? Fairly good. 
I don't want to risk losing that good of an air if we can help it. I love how there's a single province up here, the Kora Quinlu. Actually, you know what? I might just send a single army over there to finish him off. I don't think he's got any claims I need. No, it's just all claims on my provinces. I will, however, get some claims on Polish provinces. Even though I'm mostly going to give land back to the Lithuanians. Pretty much solely give land back to Lithuanians. I can attack in two years. I love how I took land and Russia just white pieced, even though Russia started the war. I have a longer truce, but I guess it makes sense. Russia is having rebel issues like crazy. Did they somehow wander into time of troubles? No, it's just intolerance. Did they not take religious ideas? Now they're taking religious ideas. Oh my. That's why they're having religious issues. You kind of have to take religious ideas as Russia. Okay, let's finish off the QQ here completely again. Oh no, no, no. Oh, yay, yay. Why did it decide that it needed to march that way just to... I don't understand the pathing some days. I really don't. Okay, let's get the standardization of military caliber, get us some better cannons. All preparing for a war with Poland, Commonwealth. Commonwealth, but essentially Poland. Speaking of that, how's Poland doing? They still don't have that bonus morale. Wow. It's a little sad. We may have to actually deal with these rebels here. Go Serbia, thank you. Oh my gosh, just fall already for it. Yeah, I'll shoot that. Seventy-eight percent chance of the fort. There we go. Finally. Now let's fo focus on every single renounced claim I can get off on them. I'll do that. Actually, core it before we convert it, just cause. Okay, and then. Ooh. That is very tempting. I think I'll do it. Get a huge boost of missionary conversion strength for a short while. If it worse comes to worse and we get into a heavy war, I'll just um, replace it with a lower level advisor. But in the meantime, let's get some of these high level centers of the faith or whatever, or just entirely development converted. When can I attack these guys? December. The now it's the Austria again, so this should be fairly easy. Other than the Pope showing up with a massive army. Russia is fairly easily winning this war, I'd imagine. No, they actually lost some of them. Huh. Well, it's going to be me versus the Commonwealth. I think I'll win that, but... It might be a little rougher than I thought it would be. Plus, I kind of also want to take Corfu. Okay, when do these Lithuanias expire? 99. Okay, so I can actually wait a little while longer. Get some of that army discipline being drilled in there, or army professionalism, sorry. 
I get one more and I'd get reduced admin efficiency or increased admin efficiency. Global trade, that will be next. I'm still building things as if I'm going for the manufacturers after, which to be fair, I kind of am. Um, All of those are non-drilled. We are all set for a war, but it is the end of this video. Next video, we'll launch the big war versus them. We'll also try and pick up maybe Corfu and a couple other small provinces if we get the chance. But thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now.